Hello. Um. Uh, welcome. Welcome to episode two of the Mean Darnie Chronicles. You all seem to adore Mean Darnie, so if you want more Mean Darnie, then make sure to um, type down in the comments your best Mean Darnie joke. Could be like, knock knock, who's there? Mean. Mean who? Mean Darnie. It's your choice, really, whether you're going to take it. But let's be real here. You are as surprised as me, the fact that I've even made this episode too. But this is me recording it, so I may not even edit it. But, like, I hope it will be out by some time. Thank you all for the support on episode 1. You guys seem to love it and um, give me good feedback. So if you do want more episodes of Career Mode, then smash the like button if you want more of this in the future. And also, if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. We gain, like, 500 subscribers in one day, which is mental. Because uh, maybe, maybe you guys really like Career Mode. So if you want more of this, then hit that sub button. Okay, so let's be with her. Let's go top business. So last episode, we um, we we kind of signed the um, most Brexit looking man in the world, other known as Calvin Phillips. Now apparently he's quite a generic signing, but because he's from Leeds and because we've signed Chris Wood and Taylor and Peacock Fowler from Leeds, it just felt right to sign a Leeds player. Now I asked you guys about who else should I sign because that's all I had. I've got 2.85 million. Like I've not got much left here. So I asked you guys who else should I sign and um. Uh, you guys wanted like a fan war, which, um, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised, really. Only issue is, is the fact that we really messed up with the wages, because apparently he wants more than three grand a week, which I find mad. Phillips was on six grand at Leeds, and this guy is 37 years of age. He's big, he's bold, he's bold, like, I just want a bold man. I looked into Andy Carroll. Can't get him. I even want a Charlie Adam. Whoever this guy is supposed to be, this imposter right here. I can't even get Danny Welbeck. Now, Eddie and Ketia, I mean, he's quite bold. I mean, he could try and get him on lawn, but I kind of don't want to, really. So I'm thinking rational here with my 2.85 mil, thinking I could get a decent player on lawn. Like, for example, a Mason Greenwood. I think that he won't be playing that much at Manchester United. I'm going to try and get him on lawn. Burnley have got history of signing loan players from Man United, i.e. Michael Keane. I think that <laughs> ticks the realism mark here. Damn, you guys think I'm not trying to do this realistically. Is this guy supposed to be so scarf? 51 grand as a 17 year old. My guy's balling. 30 grand a week for Mason Greenwood. Young player, history, makes sense. I think this is a bargain. And I believe that is a done deal. Light work. That's that's super easy. There's a chance, admittedly a slim chance, because, I mean, who would want to say not to Burnley, that he could actually decide yes or no if he wants to come to us. Now, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have got that first game of the season coming up at home to Southampton. Now, of course, this is ultimate difficulty, and this is the realism mod. So this should be a very tough game, hopefully. I'm hoping, man. I hope that I don't, like, beat them, like, 4-0. Like, it'd be, a bit, it'd be a bit annoying now. So apparently, because I'm a realistic football manager, mean Donny, I'm doing training because I think that's a thing that people do. Simulate all, and everyone did awful other than Tarkovsky. Big up Tarkovsky, man. Ah, oh, he'll bum your mum and also give you a handshake as well afterwards. He's a nice guy. Very nice guy. I've met him. Very big man. Scary. Um, maybe very scared at times. So, it appears that my scout has brought me some young children. Borgo was worth how much? 19 million for Borgo. <laughs> 27 for Saka. This is, this is mental, bro. Fair to say that, um, no. For most of them. I feel like I need to sign this one banter player for sake of it. Now, who's a banter player? Most banter players have already moved clubs. So, like, I can't even sign them. Well, we find out that Mason Green will actually want to come to us. What you decide? Today, Junior. Pick today. Three match press conference. Oh, this is when we see Mean Donnie in action. Welcome to our first press conference. Mean Donnie looking um, dapper as usual. He just came back from leaving his parents. Preparations. How's it going? We're working hard. Working hard. If one person slips up... Backhand with a wooden spoon, mate. Does the team have to fight to avoid finishing in a low position? What kind of question is that? Get out here right now. Get out here. You come to me saying that you think that we're going down? Well, you're absolutely correct. So it turns out, yeah, Mason Greenwood is too busy playing with Castro than to actually agree as alone with the Burnley. I don't want people like him on my club. But apparently, I have no choice now. I can't even. I can't even cancel it. This is a serious game. I don't want slackers. And this guy is too busy playing Fortnite with Castro to come and actually come to us. Four days, bro. Four days. Get off your PS4. I swear, the day he comes here, I'm gonna. Discipline him. That sounds really odd, doesn't it? Here we go. The day has finally come. Burnley versus Southampton. This is the most dramatic game of all time. We've had sleepless nights thinking of this game. Bro, bro, man, why am I scared? <laughs> why am I scared, bro? The day has come, ladies and gentlemen. 
Burnley versus Southampton. Ultimate difficulty. This is our team to go out right now. We've got Barnes and Chris Wood up top. Dwayne Neal, Phillips, Westwood, Goodmanson, Charlie Taylor, Ben Mee, Tarkovsky, Phil Bordsley, and Nick Paul. I'm ready. Are you? Let's go. Smash the like button if you guys do enjoy. And wish us the best of luck because I don't know how hard this may actually be. <sighs> Ray. Okay, let's just get into this, shall we? So basically, I f***ed it. Um, completely. I've completely f this. This is quite possibly the most visa career mode I've ever seen in my entire life. Everything is just done for. Some of you may be like, wait, what have you done now, Liam? Well, let's just, uh, let's just get into it, shall we? So if you don't know, I'm doing this series on my PC of FIFA 20. Because I want the realism mod, because I think that it would make this a lot more enjoyable to watch. This is the issue, yeah? I don't have a very good PC. It's It should be good. I've got Intel i7. I've got uh, 16 gigs of RAM. I've got a decent enough high, hard drive. Graphics card is NVIDIA. Something. I don't, know what I, I don't know what that is. But it's not a terrible PC, but it's not amazing. But that's not the worst part, right? I played three games in this episode. I played against Southampton, Arsenal and Wolves and this is the issue. I played all three games thinking that everything was completely fine. I was playing the game, it wasn't the smoothest, it was a bit choppy at times but it was just by FPS. Like it looked fine but it felt a bit choppy at times. And I used a software called OBS which this records my gameplay through my PC. Now when I was looking at my OBS the entire time, the entire time, the gameplay looked completely fine. So please explain to me, why does it look like this then? This is the most thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm getting a severe aneurysm just by watching this. So of course I can't just give you guys this and act like it's okay. It's not even watchable here. And the worst part is I'm trying to get back onto FIFA and it needs to install an update but because I've got mods on it can't install or updates because there's new things added which it shouldn't even be there. So I'm here like oh great so I don't know what I'm supposed to do here lads. The entire thing already in the first episode is just done already man promise this will be fixed by next episode i will not do the next episode until everything's fixed it will be fixed soon guys so don't worry about that i don't know what to do here i i, I don't know a lot happened in these games a lot of rage as well because oh th this ultimate oh, this ultimate man they, ah this ultimate is in insane it's insane how how hard it is i might as well just tell you guys now because you won't be able to even really look at it but um we didn't do well, to say the least. So we played against Southampton in the rain, of course. What do you expect? And then next thing you know, we're 1-0 down, which is great, really. And I realized very quickly that everyone felt rapid and every single one of my players feels like like awful. It's like my team is full of 50 pace players and I'm playing against Adama Traore. Even Nathan Redmond felt like Adama Traore. Nathan Redmond, Stuart Armstrong was rapid. But me, no, 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 no. I've got f***ing Dave from down the pub in my team. And I also brought a goal back, which I, you know, made it 1-1. I thought, okay, it's gonna be tough, but we can maybe do something right here, right? Right? Well, they scored another cross. So two crosses so far. Of course, I complain about this quite a lot. I mean, if you wanna hear the actual gameplay, I'm sure I'll play it, but um, it didn't go quite well. I feel like everyone's just gonna try and cross a bit. Oh, please don't. Are you kidding me? I just, I just got kickoff boosted in Korea, man. And then I considered another cross, which is um, fantastic. So that's three crosses and three goals. I'm sensing a bit of a pattern here, boys. And then, guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. We're 4-1 down, which um, I'm there. Just on, I, I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. I'm raging. And then I thought, okay, this will be tough, but it's my first game. I will get used to it. But it does kind of get annoying when I'm there busting my balls to actually make a chance in the box. So it even gets an inch inside their box. But next thing you know, they hoof it from their own box out of nowhere and end up throwing gold just to sweat it. You may not even be able to see it, but trust me, that's what happened. And as you can tell, I'm quite raging. What? So... So, yeah, so what you're saying to me right here is that I'm there doing 5,000 one-twos and drag backs to just try and get a single inch inside the bots. But all you have to do is just f***ing punt it upfield and then you throw on goal then. And the worst part, he's sweating it too! So there you go, the first game ended 5-1, which is um kind of not what I planned for the first episode, not gonna lie. It's fine, the next game is gonna be easier. But then I realised that next game is Arsenal away.
So that was out the fucking window, wasn't it? So then we went to Arsenal, which we actually did quite well. We actually lasted to half time 0 0. I know, we limited the chances, we defended well, and I was very, very proud of myself. I even celebrated a goddamn corner as if we scored. I wish I was joking. Let's go, boys! Phillips! Fight him off! Corner! Come on, boys! Come on! Off the cloud, he's got a corner! Oh, this is like real life! Come on, boys! I, I'm seriously so sad. I'm so sad, man. I felt confident. I felt like this is realistic. I'm Burnley up against the Kosh against Arsenal here. This is going to be a big game. We can maybe scrape a draw. I'd be happy with that. You know, against Arsenal, I'd be very happy with that, man. We did so well until my Charlie Taylor decided that he doesn't play football anymore. And then next thing you know, we're one nil down. And then Obama Yang runs all the way over to his manager to celebrate with him like a total... <laughs> Also, if you can't tell, every single pass that my opponent makes is with pristine precision. Not a single pass is missed. Not a single through ball is too hard or too soft. This is ridiculous, man. I didn't next thing you know, just like that, we're two now down. We, in fact, did have some chances. We actually subbed on Mason Greenwood. We actually got him on lawn. And I thought, well, after talking about football, 2 0 loss isn't too bad against Arsenal, way. Eh? Wait, no, it's 3 0 now. Fantastic. Even Pepe scored. Pepe. Pepe! Part of me inside still had hope. Think, you know what? We did play quite well at times. We defended well. If we get a better team, some faster players, some better drumming players, we can actually do somewhat well. So then came Wolves. So Wolves went on the attack, as what normal footballers do. And guess what? I read the run perfectly of that I knew they were going to cross the ball, in which I read it from Ben Mee, and in fact, it went into the back of my own net. I have no words of what I am witnessing here. I legit have no words. I, I, I can't explain this. I wish that I made this up, but I'm literally already at this stage. I'm three games in and I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge, man. This game, I started Jay Rodriguez and Vidra because I thought they have a bit more agility compared to, you know, the wooden planks, which is Barnes and Wood. And Vidra actually found some space and set Aaron Lennon, as of all people, through on goal and he put it away. Aaron Lennon scored a goal. He might as well end it here. Like, this is the peak of the career mode. Th this is it. So I thought, okay, there's some signs here. We can actually maybe do something. Play smarter, play more tactical, and we can actually do well. But no, they just can cross it in again and now a 2-1 down i'm raging honestly i'm literally raging how can you do the most perfect through ball back post like and this is a consistent theme they, they don't miss if you can't tell i have the defensive proudness of michael jackson if you don't know he's dead so i'm calling my defending dead it, it, it's a terrible joke but at least i'm not a nonce unlike him so i kind of you know rage quit the game because that's what normal Karima players do. I tried my best not to rage. I tried my best not to scream. But in the end... There you have it. So I wasted an hour and a half of my life playing three games, which were all awful because it's on PC. And then they all went 5-0, 3-0, and a 3-1 rage quit. So that is the Burn the Career Mode Episode 2. I mean, I would love to play another game, but right now I can't even access it. So... Help me. The Mean Donny Chronicles will continue another day in, like, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully two days' time. This has been a complete sh show, and I will not expect anything less. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and, um, oh, God help my soul. <laughs>